Hi, Craig from DJ on Compex. I'm a physio that's been working for a number of years with the Compex and Chattanooga wireless range now. And one of the many requests I get from clinicians is how to incorporate Compex and the Wireless Pro into their rehab and treatment protocols. There's a growing body of evidence around how we can assist and improve the recovery for a patient following a knee injury or ACL repair. And what I'll show you in this clip is how to incorporate the Wireless Pro into your treatment selection and exercise protocols. So as part of our rehab protocol, we want to start with a basic static quadriceps exercise. Post-operatively, this is a really important exercise purely because it doesn't put the knee under any load and it doesn't aggravate the patient's symptoms by taking them through an uncomfortable range of motion. What we have here is our electrodes in place, taking in VMO and vastus lateralis, as well as a reference point up on rectus femoris. And what you'll notice is with the program, we're using the disuse atrophy program, that we'll get a nice contraction through VMO, which is really going to be important following any sort of operation or injury. What we ask the patient to do during the active phase of the treatment program is to voluntarily contract their quadriceps muscle and hold it for the duration of the active component of the program. As you can see, a really nice muscle contraction throughout. Then we go through into a relaxation phase, which will then go back to another active contraction phase and again, you see a really nice contraction through VMO and the rest of the quadriceps muscle there. From our static quadriceps exercise, I like to progress into some more functional activity for the patient. Depending on how quickly they're recovering from either surgery or injury, we can start with some weight bearing exercises. The first exercise I like to incorporate is a mini squat. Again, we have our Chat Wireless Pro superimposed on VMO and VL to increase that muscle contraction quality. Again, we're bringing more muscle fibers into the contraction to enhance their strength and enhance those function improvements we're looking for following their injury or operation. What you can see with our patient here, they have their electrodes in the same positioning as they did for the static quadriceps exercise. But again, what we're asking the patient to do is actively work through the active phase of the contraction cycle in the program. The patient in this case will do two to three mini squats during the active phase. What we are looking at there is that superimposed contraction on the patient's own voluntary contraction. For most patients, depending on tolerance, you'd get 10 repetitions out per set. And like any exercise program, have a minute or so rest between each set depending on the patient's tolerance. Depending on the patient's recovery and how they're progressing through their rehab exercises, you can progress the mini squat to a deeper squat or a goblet squat. Again, we have our electrodes over VMO and VL and the reference point on rectus fem. We're again asking the patient to squat actively during the active phase of the treatment program and then relax throughout that relaxation phase. Again, with a deeper squat, you're limited to the number of squats that you can do during the active phase. For most patients, they'd get one to two squats out per cycle. And then again, through that relaxation phase, they will just rest and recover. As you've seen in this presentation, the Chat Wireless Pro or Compex range is a really valuable tool and complement to your rehabilitation and treatment programs. The exercises we've shown you through this program are not meant to be an exhaustive list of exercises, but some indications and suggestions for what you can do in your clinic to improve your patient's outcomes following injury or post-surgery. Thanks for watching guys.